Okay, alrighty. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. Yes, we're back. And you guys thought I was going to take another week off. Anywho, in our last episode, we finally got to play a little bit more of Pokemon Coliseum, the furthest in our history right here. Yes, I know, I know. And we finally got ourselves a, well, another Pokemon, and that is Quilava right here. Now, I have been walking a little bit, and it's going to take a while, because look at the heart gauge right here. Yeah, it's it's going to it's gonna take a while to get that heart gauge down and all that stuff. So, in this episode right here, we're going to be going into the next town, because we've already spent enough time as it is right here. And... Well, as you guys can see, we actually have to go to the construction lot because there is a little something going on right here. The construction lot is a site for an immense tower which will have the Colosseum on the top floor. So look at this. Oh my god. And it looks clear too while we're driving and all that crud. Look at that. Holy buckets. Okay, so here we are in the construction lot and well, we're going to be talking to a few people. Whoa! Hold it there! This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. This is no place for tourists to visit. Go on and scram! Yeah. Uh, why won't you make me? I got Pokemon in I, I don't know if you do. Ew! This, uh, this, it's been a mighty long time. I can't rightly recall when it was that, uh, when it was that and I was last at home. But we're just about done here. All that's uh, left is to clean up the site and, uh, we're done. Clean up the site and all that crud. And well, if you talk to this guy right here, what, what does he say? Ah, I've been working hard, I have. Let me tell you, making a, this here is a huge tower of mass... One, or I can't even speak right now. Holy crud. Let me tell you, making this here huge tower, one massive job, it it's hard to imagine even for me. Y'all come back to visit when we're all done here. There'll be a Colosseum on top of the tower. Amazing stuff. Okay. Um, it looks like right here that we, we don't really have a lot of stuff to do. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we're just walking around, and we're going to be going up to this right here, and look at that. It's locked. So, I think that we're going to have to go into the next area right here. So, after visiting the construction lot, you are now enabled to go into Pyrite Town, a rough and dirty town full of thugs and scoundrels. It is said to be, uh, to be home to a sinister Pokemon. So, let's go right ahead. Man, I again, I'm loving the graphics right here. Oh, Mr. Johnson, give uh, give a man a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See ya. Oh, okay, he looks like the Nutcracker, but I do love this song right here. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I haven't got, I got a thing to tell you. Wow, the betrayal is serious right here. So here we are, guys, in Pyrite Town, and it is dirty. Let's talk to this guy right here. Let's see what he's all about. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces around these parts. What are you, tourists? If you don't want me, if you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost in quick for the good for, uh, for the good of your health. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so let's see. Let's go ahead and start talking to people. Why are you walking away? This is Pyrite, the town of Earth, Wind, and Money. You appear to be outsiders. You best beware, or you had best beware. There are many ne'er do well sorts here. Hmm. Okay, so. Let's see, we got a fortune teller right here, so that's really, that that, that right there is is kind of uh, fishy right there. And I do believe there's a shop, look at that, and if you go right here, let's see. Yo, your outfit's kind of weird, but you're a trainer, aren't you? Yes. Good! That's okay then, I'll teach you about, uh, I'll teach you one, uh, or teach you about one of the few rules that this town has. Here, we have, we have street battles, rather than exchanging greetings. Oh, so, <laughs> here we have Chaser Kelda. And he wants the battle, and I didn't switch my Pokemon out. But we're doing this for a very, very good reason. And here we have Sentra and Talo. If you guys remember, in the last few episodes, we did capture ourselves two Shadow Pokemon. And we kind of did explain uh, what, what, what this is all about right here. 
I remember playing Pokemon uh, Calcium for the first time and all that stuff, and uh, well, <laughs> I act like when I, when I first played it, I actually thought that you have to what was it? You have to purify these Pokemon by you know a little bit later on. Like if they don't get ex experience points, what's the point of actually having them and all that stuff? And well, <laughs> I was so wrong. And uh oh, here we have Hyper Mode on Makuhita, so that right there is, is something bad, and of course Makuhita is in hyper mode, so when when a Pokemon is in hyper mode, you gotta actually go with a call attack right here, or not call attack, but you actually have to call it just to make sure it gets back into it, back into its normal senses right here, and Quilava's entered hyper mode too, again, if you're trying to lower the gauges of these Pokemon, this could prove to be a little uh, problematic because yes, yeah, <laughs> it skips turns. It gives the other trainer like uh, the ability to attack, and of course we're in hyper mode right here. So let's go right ahead and go with the shadow rush. Now, as you guys can see, we lowered one gauge. Makuhita has finally learned one more move, and that is focus energy. So that's what we're going to be doing. And I completely forgot we're going to be going with the not that. Of course, my buttons are not really working that well. So here we go. Call. Yes, Quilava. Come on. Wake the fuck up. There we go. And it came to his senses. There it is. Okay. So here comes a quick attack. And this tail right here is kicking some butt right now. Don't know why I went with Focus Energy. Probably because I kind of wanted to. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to. You know, get a critical hit right here. So we skipped. We basically skipped two turns right here. And well, Quilava gets hit by theft or thief and well let's go with the shadow rush right here onto Talo and let's go shadow rush right here and of course Quilava has gone into hyper mode again this is getting annoying but I guess uh, what a better episode than to, to get into hyper mode right now and of course Makuhita's attack goes down as well as uh, Quilava and wow so yes we we're definitely learning right here all right. Okay, so we are both in hyper mode right here, so we have to call both our Pokemon. Skip in our turns right here. And I didn't mean to do that right there again. But each time you call this uh, your Pokemon out of hyper mode, it lowers its uh, its gauge just a little bit more right here. And look at that. We call it just one more time, and we're almost like we're almost two gauges down right here. And Taylor has been doing most of the work right here, just just lowering our attacks. And I I kind of feel like we we, we kind of need to like switch out right now. What do you guys think? I don't know. You guys are just excited that I'm playing Pokemon Coliseum and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go with the Shadow Rush onto Sandtrit. And after lowering one gauge, we get ourselves Smoke Screen, which is uh, actually you know can actually help us out with capturing Pokemon right there. So here we go, Shadow Rush. Go home, Talo. And there is a recoil right there. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like I, I think it's a good idea that, or a good thing that we actually got lowered. Like our, we went into hyper mode again because it's lowering our gauges quite a, like quite a few levels right there. And well, of course, Makuhita gets hit. It's in hyper mode. It can't do anything. This is going to be a long battle, but. It will go down one more gauge and Quilava. Let's go with a Shadow Rush onto Slackoth right here because, uh, yeah. <laughs> and look at this Makuhita and Quilava. Holy buckets. So I guess this is Hyper Mode episode. And yes, here comes a Pursuit Attack. That is not so effective. I could heal my Pokemon right now and Sentret. Yes, Thief Attack or Theft for whatever. So here we go again, hyper mode, and let's go straight for a shadow rush right here. We need to call Quilava yet again, and <laughs> Quilava, oh my god, and well, look at this, <laughs> and you know, it's a good, it's probably a good thing that, you know, Slack on is, you know, oh wow, it's going down in a, it, well, it's actually loafing around, oh my god. Here we go. Uh, you know what? Let's call this Pokemon. Quilava. Let's go right ahead and hit Slack off. Or are we going to go straight to a Hyper Mode again? Okay, so we're lowering gauges. And... <laughs> oh my god! 
I'm pretty sure many of you guys are like, Draven, come on, switch out. Makuhita, of course, faints. Okay, so that's not that bad, I guess. So we're gonna go straight for... Let's go with, uh... Let's go right here. Let's go with Espeon. Let's send out. Alrighty, Espeon. I got you, homeboy. At least you'll attack, and here comes a theft attack. And this one is super effective, so yeah, we kinda need a... Yeah, hyper mode again. So let's go with a confusion. Finish Sentris on it. He's been he's been living a little too long, and let's call Cool Lava. And this right here again will lower its gauge. And I I'm kind of hoping it learns a new move, but I don't think it won't learn a new move until it's second to last. So here we go, confusion attack. Hit Sentris pretty hard right there. Slack off, of course, loafing around. Why are you attacking my Cool Lava? I don't know. Okay, so Espeon, let's go with the slack off. Shadow Rush to Sentret. I wouldn't be surprised if we go back into Hyper Mode. And just like that, we got both Pokemon lowered down. And... <laughs> oh my god! Okay, alrighty. So Slack Off has going up with his uh, special defense right here. And god dang Sentret. Why are you so mean? And here we are in Hyper Mode. This is probably a good thing. And let's go ahead and... Not do that again. Good gravy. Let's see. Let's go with that. Okay, so we're at a hyper mode. And let's have Espeon go with a confusion right here. And there goes Sentret. So there's one problem done. I do believe in the next turn. What's his face? Uh Slack Oz is just gonna be loafing around. There it is. And well, let's go straight for a uh, a good old uh, fashion, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, confusion. Let's go ahead and use. Let's see, let's go ahead and use a potion right here. Let's see, use a potion. Give it to uh, Quill Lava. Let's waste that turn. And let's go for a confusion attack right here. Bam! There goes Slack Off. So this is like the world's longest battle. Yes, you have fainted, good old Slack Off. Espeon living as always, and yes, there we go. We have defeated Kalda. We have won Pokemon Fainted. Yes, I am better than you in every friggin' way. Okay, so I tripped myself up. But you're not bad at all. Your Pokemon are our tops too. Foo foo foo. I can see it in your eyes. You're just like us. It's easy to see. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so is there a Pokemon sitting around here? Yes, it's at the very far end. But let's go right in here into the shop and see what they actually sell. Let's see, let's talk to this guy right here, and uh, Pokemon, let's go ahead and buy some stuff since we actually bought, or since we actually, you know, have enough money and all that crud, and well, let's go ahead and go, let's go ahead and go with three, or three super potions right here, or actually, what the heck is going on right here, <laughs> okay, there we go, three super potions, yes, okay, and then a full heal, we got five of those, so we don't really have to buy a lot of this stuff, but you know, it's always good to stock up right here. And why are you in my way? Come on, Rui. Don't be like that. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our new our Pokemon right here. So Makuhita, of course, is fainted. I do believe yes. Okay, so I do have a I do have a revive right here. I could always buy some more. Let's see. Nope. Actually, a white herb. Hold item that restores any lowered stat, which is a very good item to actually have. And uh, yeah, we do not have revives here. No TMs, just key items. So, you know what? Again, going back to the shop. And let's go ahead and buy ourselves a few re uh, revives. Let's go right here. And let's go with three. We don't really need that much. Plus, you know, we're not going to have a lot of money left over. And, well, again, Rui, seriously, get out of my face. Let's go. All right, so where is the next place to go? Let's go right in here. Before that, let's go ahead and uh, revive a Pokemon. That right there is not what I was supposed to do. Again, I'm a little mixed up on the, on the controls, guys. My bad. So let's go ahead and revive a Pokemon right here. And that way we can actually lower its gauge. So there we go. Makuhita's back. And... You know, a potion doesn't hurt at all, so let's go right ahead and give that to it. And, well. Speaking of which, summary. Sarge, its heart gauge has gone down, 
And we got two moves. Let's go right ahead and take a look at Quilava. It's right there too. And it does have smoke screen, so we're doing a we're doing a good job. It's just good go. We need to take care of Pokemon right here. Now, if we go into this room, let's see. Are you trying to sell me something? Well, sorry, I don't need anything. Please leave. Uh, okay. Pyrite Town's always been, had a history of a rough town. With all those muscle-bound roughnecks about, that's not a, a, a surprise. But when Duking was in charge, there wasn't any uh, of this lawless, lawlessness that you see today. What's come over Duking? Hmm, I don't know. What's, 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 what's with the name Dookie? Or Duking? Alright, so that's not, that's not a place to go to. Let's go in here. And would you look at that? We run into this nutcracker looking mother guy, and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot. You see, Chief, there's talk that the thugs have been have witnessed use, uh, using strange Pokemon. Huh, Chief? You're not the Chief. I beg your pardon. I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard about it over and over already. Oh, Chief, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> Okay, so there's uh, something going on right here, and if you talk to this guy, my name is Sherless, I'm the chief of police in this town, are you two travelers? Yes, we are. I see, well, whether you are or not, it would be best if you were to get out of the town as soon as possible. This town's descended into a state of lawlessness chaos, I wouldn't guarantee your safety if anything were to happen. Hmm. But here we have a PC. Let's go, let's go, to, let's go straight to the PC, and, well, you know what? It's probably a good idea, uh, idea to actually save your game. And look at that. Yes, we have saved the game yet again. Okay. It kind of sucks, guys, because... Yeah. <laughs> now, if you go right here, this is actually the jail. And you can't really go through anything except to this one right here. And uh, there's, like, like n literally not a lot of stuff except for, like, criminals. And Folly right here is like, <laughs> not you again. Listen, you have to promise. Don't tell me or B that we're hiding out here, okay? After... Like, after we blew the last chance, we couldn't go back, so we turned ourselves into for, in for stealing uh, that truck, uh, and here we are. If we stayed here, we'd be safe. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about a criminal gang that probably, uh, you know, takes a, a few fingers from you and all that stuff. So, there we go, taking out that part right there. Now, let's see, we're going to be going uh, right here, the fortune telling, because, well, it's always nice to get a fortune tell. And there's this individual talking to this fortune teller. He's like, people call Fatine the mother of Pyre. Her ability as a, as a fortune teller is highly regarded. Why, just a wee while ago, she even determined where my wife is living since she left me. Sub. Wow. Wow, that, 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 that right there is dark. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Find what you seek, be an object or person or luck. Welcome to Fatine's fortune telling chamber. I am Fatine. If ever a problem clouds your blow, your brow, you shall come to me. Whatever your problem may, your problem may be, my fortune teller shall lead to a solution. Foo, 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 foo. And I kind of have a feeling that she will be needed later on. Kind of reminds me of an episode of Dragon Ball where they were trying to find the Dragon Ball to revive Upa's uh, daddy. If you guys don't remember? You, I suggest you go watch it. Now let's see. We go right here, and. Look at this. We have found, I believe, the mayor of this place. The name's Duking. I run Coliseum here. If you want to enter a battle, go see the Coliseum's receptionist. Now, if you excuse me, I'm busy. Hmm. Okay. And I'm, I'm in the lookout. Nobody is supposed to get uh, by me. There's nothing special behind the bookshelf. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, we're going to be pressing this right here. <laughs> he leads me straight to the book, uh, to the bookshelf right here. And if we talk to these people, let's see. That's why Marcia, we've got to... Or that's why Marcia, we've got to somehow snag them for from those criminals. Uh-oh. Well, you startled me. How did you get in here? That's weird. My little brother is supposed to be the lookout. Oh, uh, well. he's what a, what a great lookout right there. My sister hasn't done anything but chatter. I'm so bored. I want to play house. And are you Papa's friends? I'm Marcia. I'm pleased to meet you. But sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please come visit and play with uh, uh play with us at another time. Okay. So yes, this place has uh, done uh, has run amok. And after coming out, Duking's gonna be talking to this individual. He's gonna be like, "How much more are you going to take from Mira B and his stooges? They're using you and the in the Coliseum." What is the matter with you? Have you su or have they sucked the spirit right out of you? 
<laughs> oh, wow, Duking's not happy right here. Definitely digging the mustache, though. <laughs> so you just cl you just clam up? I've lost faith in you. Hmm. Okay. That right there was a little... <laughs> that right there was a little dark. And uh, the guy's like... The man that went out is Silva. He's Duking's friend. But he was really angry. His face looked all scary. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Duking. Yeah, he is not busy at all. He's just being lazy. And well... Let's go right ahead and move on to the next the next portion right here. We already battled this guy. Here we are in the hotel, and uh, let's see, what, what does this guy have to say? Greetings, welcome to the Pirate Super Grand Hotel. Stay in one of our ultra gorgeous suites, and you'll be refreshed like you're brand new. Your Pokemon too. It's it's a mere 100 a, a night. Will you stay with us? Sure. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Kind of sucks that we actually have to pay to get healed and all that stuff. So, did you get a good rest? Next time you need to stay, make sure uh, it's right here in the Pirate Grand, Super Grand Hotel. Yes. Okay, so let's get out of here. And let's go right here into the battle, cir the battle circle. As you guys can see, there are going to be individuals lined up in this circle. And Rui is like, Draven, it was here in this square that I saw a strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, and that's when those creeps grabbed me. We should be careful, even if, uh, even at the best of times. There is nothing normal about this town. So yes, this place right here, Battle Circle, Battle Square. You're gonna be battling everybody. And oh look, we have uh, quite a hottie. Ooh, she thinks I'm a hottie. Why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? <laughs> Holy crud! Look at this. Wait a second. Who are you calling a wallflower? What about me? What What about me makes me a wallflower? <laughs> Look at her, she's all serious, uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. A guy like him, he's not my taste. Oh wow, <laughs> that's it, I'm furious now. Draven, be a man, stomp her. Oh wow, oh wow, oh <laughs> wow, like a, uh, hey, this is not really my battle, but holy crud, this is a, uh, this is something right here. It's like, stomp, who, me? <laughs> that's all I laugh. Come on then, I'll go easy on you. Okay, so we're taking on a uh, Chaser Imok. She kind of uh, besmirched my uh, my my female my female companion here, and uh, <laughs> holy buckets! <laughs> okay, so here we are taking on Imok, and yes, we're coming out with two Pokemon that really kind of don't do much. So what's gonna happen is I'm actually gonna be switching out. I'm gonna go straight to good old Espeon if I could just yeah, there we go. If it could, I could just do that. And I'm gonna try and use Cool Lava right here. Actually, let's go straight for a smoke screen on Gulpin right here because I have a feeling this guy's gonna try and poison us. So Makuhita's back. Espeon's out. And here we have Cool Lava with its smoke screen. So that way it loses its accuracy. And there we go, it's fallen. Here we have Zubat going with an Astonish. And that right there hits Kulava. It's not that good. Here comes a sludge attack straight from Gulpin. You guys haven't checked out my Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Yes, I got a Gulpin on the team. And, well, let's go straight for a Confusion just to finish these guys off. And, well, again, let's go with Zubat this time. So here comes a Confusion attack for the win. And that right there is super effective, my friends. So there goes Gulpin. Not too happy right now. Even though it looks like a stomach, which it is kind of, uh, you know, it is kind of uh, related to and all that crud. So here comes Cool Lava with its smoke screen attack. And the funny thing is that, like, you know, Zuba is technically blind. And that thief attack is going to hit us. Okay. So let's go right ahead and switch this Pokemon out. Let's go straight for Umbreon. And let's go Cool Lava with a Shadow Rush. Hopefully we don't go into Hyper Mode or anything. Kind of jinxing it right now. Here we go, Ombreon. Do your thing. And, of course, I jinxed it. We are in Hyper Mode. And here comes a Leech Life. Yes, it has missed. And we are in Hyper Mode again. So let's go straight for... We could go for a Secret Power right here. And we have to call Cool Lava right now. So there we go. We called on Cool Lava. Kulava is now back, and I think, yes, it goes down a gauge, so here we go, secret power from Ombreon. 
And just like that, we take a few more HP from Zubat. Here comes the Gust attack. Will it hit us? And yes, it does. It hits Ombreon. You know, at this point, I'm just going to try and lower the gauge from Kulava. Because I kind of have a feeling it's going to go straight into Shadow Rush, or it's going to go into uh, Hyper Mode. But look at this. It learned Dig, so that's another great move right there. And look at that. Okay. Okay, I get you, Kulava. You're just being a jerk right now. And here we go. Shadow, or not Shadow, uh, Secret Power for the win. And yes, I have uh, fought for the honor of my companion right here, Rui. And Imok is like... You got all serious. Yes, I did. I did because, well, I am a, I am very chivalrous, I guess, in this game. <laughs> okay, so after defeating her, she's like, "What kind of a man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win all the hearts of girls like that way." I beg to differ. So that is one down, and well, we got three more trainers. Four, three, four, five, five trainers right here. So Lexi, we got. Yes, our Pokemon are pretty good right now. So what I'm going to do... Actually, I'm going to skip through this right here. We're going to go through the houses, and then after that I'm going to show you guys the game, or the the actual battles that we have right here. But as, as you guys can see right here, we got a little bit of a lab, and talking to this guy, he's like, The windmill generates electricity but for powering the Colosseum. It may look worse for wear, but it's still going strong in active service. Talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, oh, 30, 30 long years, I've spun these gears. Oh, what's with you, younglings? Do you want to spin the gears too? Sure. <laughs> Not to disappoint you, but this isn't a job for anyone can just pick up. Give it another 20 years, then come back. Ha ha ha. Okay, uh, sure, why not? Kinda wanted to do that, but okay. And well, let's see, do we have another house right here? Yes, we do. Kind of feel like there's something important going in here, but yes, we can't open that place right now. Now, if you go down this uh, bridge, you're going to be going straight into the Colosseum, but you'll also find another PC that will actually uh, you can actually save up on. And yes, this is the place where you can actually heal up your Pokemon too. Look at that. Healing up my Pokemon. Okay. So, we can't really do anything in the Colosseum just yet. I'm saving that for the next episode. We're going to be going back right here, and we're going to be taking on, uh, well, we're going to be trying to get ourselves another Shadow Pokemon right here. And as you guys can see, Quilava is in Hyper Mode right now, so I do have to call it in the next battle. That right there is going to be a little bit of a fun adventure right there. And, well, let's get it on. Who wants some of the, the League Champion right here? Let's talk to this guy. Let's see, what does he have to say? This is Dual Square, where even crying kids know they better shut up. This is where Roughnecks gather. So how about it? Would you like to battle with me? Sure, let's go right ahead. Excellent! I like a man who can come out to a quick decision. Let's have it out. Okay. We are taking on Ryder Nova, and... Well, he's going to be having himself a Noctowl and a Ladybug right here. And... Yes. I got two Shadow Pokemon ready to battle right here. What? Well, I got two weaknesses right here. And the way it's looking like to me, look at that. She just noticed that that Noctowl right there is a Shadow Pokemon. So, what's going to happen? We got a Vital Throw. Look at that. Okay. We're going to go Shadow Rush to Ladybug. And we actually have to call this Pokemon right now. So, we called Quill Lava. And we are so close to lowering its heart gauge right there. Now, just remember, guys, just because we lowered the Pokemon's heart gauge doesn't mean that it's going to be purified. No, we actually have to go somewhere to another place to actually purify this Pokemon's heart. And look at that. We got three punches in. Shadow Rush for the win. And that takes care of Ladybug right there. Look at that. Okay. Okay, Ladybug, you are no more homegirl or boy. I don't know. So here comes a Wingle, a.k.a. You know, I already got that Pokemon. And I would love to use Vital Throw, but that's not going to work out right there. So let's go straight for a Smokescreen on a Noctowl. And, well... What in the mother lover is he doing? Okay, so it's using Reflect. It's a pretty good move right there. Here comes the Water Gun attack. And that... We'll hit Makuhita pretty hard. Holy crud baskets, okay. 
Okay, so now, of course, we're back into hyper mode, so... Yeah, we can't really do anything about that. So we are going to be switching out our Pokemon right here, Makuhita. Let's go straight for... Let's go straight for Espeon right here, because we do need a little bit of a special attacker. Quillava, let's go right ahead and see if the Shadow Rush will actually affect Wingle right here. Again, holding a little emphasis on the hy Hyper Mode right now. So let's go straight for Espeon. And yes, Quillava has gone into Hyper Mode. And this Pokemon's flying up high. Seriously, this is not fair. Okay, so here we go. Gust attack. Quillava in hyper mode, being the jerk that it is. Let's go. Let's go with a reflect right here. And of course, we gotta go straight into call. And yes. We are down to the last gauge right here for Quillava. And here we go with a reflect. That way we can heighten up a little bit of the defenses for these Pokemon right here. And let's see what happens next. Here comes a fly attack. How is he? <laughs> And there we go, Quillava is getting hit pretty hard right there. So, I kind of feel as though that we kind of need to switch out Quillava because, uh, yeah, it's not looking too it's not looking too good, especially if we heighten up its, uh, its defenses right here. So, let's go straight for a Confusion attack onto... Do, 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 do. Let's go with Wingle. And uh, let's go ahead and switch this Pokemon out to our good old buddy Ombreon. Give him some love. Okay, so here we go, coming back with Lava. Here comes uh, Ombreon, and well, here comes the Confusion attack right here. Let's get it, and just like that, Wingle has been defeated. Not so happy about that. And everybody's gaining some points right here, so here comes a Reflect. Doesn't really do much. Let's go. You know what, let's screw around, let's go with Reflect, and let's go Bite Attack. Again, me being for sure, trying to capture this Pokemon right here. Now, you will get the chance to capture these Pokemon again, at some point. I believe it's more of the Legendaries than the... More of the Legendaries than the actual, uh, what was it, the Shadow Pokemon right here. But, you can never be too sure, and there it is, a critical hit. Alrighty, so our Reflection, or their Reflection has worn off, I think... If we just do this one more time, then we'll be able to capture Noctowl right here. Of course, that will fail. Here comes a Hypnosis. That fails. Let's go with a Bite Attack. And just like that, Noctowl is still standing right there. So again, I'm being, you know, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being safe about this. I really want to capture this Pokemon. And here comes a Fly Attack. Good gravy. Okay, so yes, Umbreon's attack has fallen. And, well, Reflect will work this time. We're going to get a Bite Attack. And so, here comes the Reflect Attack. And there we go. Reflect. Go ahead. Do your worst, Noctowl. And, well, look at that. <laughs> it did its worst, and it didn't really take a lot of HP. So, here comes a Bite Attack. And that right there gets knocked out. So, you know what? I'm going to try and capture it right here. Let's go straight for a Great Ball. Yes, I know I have quite a few Pokeballs, but let's go with the Great Ball right here. So, here we go. We're going to throw a quote-unquote Snag Ball. And here it is. Snag Ball. Come and go. One, two, three. And there it is, guys. We captured ourselves and knocked out. Finally! Okay. So Rover is like, you're saying I lost? Yes, you did. Or Nover. Wow, I can't even pronounce these guys' name. That is funny. Okay, so he's like, right then. I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, it attacks become more likely to be critical hit. What's the surprise, eh? Why do you, uh, why do trainers here uh, have those strange Pokemon? I'm sure of, of it now, the town's hiding a big secret. That is true. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to actually heal and then get back into the next battle right here. So hopefully it will be a little bit quicker. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So here we are in the second battle against stage performer Diojo. Diogo? Diojo? I can't even pronounce these names right here. And here she's going to be coming out with a Flaffy and a Shroomish. Now, the messed up part is that I really... Like, out of both these Pokemon right here, I really, really, really... And I mean, I mean this really... 
I really wish that Shroomish was the Shadow Pokemon, but unfortunately, the Shadow Pokemon here happens to be Flaffy. Not a bad choice. The only messed up part is that, well, we're gonna have to use a Vital Throw onto Shroomish right here. We're gonna go with the Hyper Mode to see what happens, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go with the uh, you know Shadow Rush just to eliminate this Shroomish. But again, remember, if your Pokemon's in Hyper Mode, it does have the high probability of getting a critical hit. Now, there's just one little messed up part, and that is that, you know, if it doesn't hit it, it's going to hit you, and that's going to waste a turn. So here comes a Tackle Attack. And again, I really wish that the Pokemon that was the Shadow Pokemon was a Shroomish, because, you know, you know the amount of stuff that I would be doing with that Pokemon once it evolves? And, yes, we attacked ourselves, and that right there is not going to work. Okay, so, yes, we are in hyper mode. We're going to call this Pokemon, and we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here to somebody that can actually do uh, something right here. Let's go with Quillava. Now, what you guys didn't see was that Quillava got its fourth move, and that happens to be... Uh, Flame Wheel, a very, very useful move when it comes to Fire-type Pokemon. So here we go. Flame Wheel. Quillava, how's it going? Here comes a Shadow Rush. And that Shadow Rush is beating the crud out of Makuhito right here. And uh, I'm already looking at which Pokemon I'm going to take out of my team once this whole thing is done. And, well, Quillava getting hit again. So Makuhito is out of Hyper Mode. And as you guys can see, it learned its fourth move, Cross Chop, which is a very effective move. So what's going to happen now is I'm actually going to be switching up the Pokemon right here. Let's go straight for Espeon. And let's go for a Flame Wheel on Shroomish. So Makuhita, please come back. Yes, we're trying to... Yeah, we're trying to purify all these Pokemon right here. And here comes the Flame Wheel. Flame Wheel for the win. Look at that. Okay. So thankfully I watched enough videos to know that what happens with these Shadow Pokemon and their gauges and all that stuff. So there you go. These Pokemon eliminated. And here comes the Shadow Rush from Flaffy itself. And bam. Hits Quill Lava. Right where it hurts. And there comes a recoil. So I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go over to the ref, uh, Reflect, and I'm going to try and hit this Pokemon with a Flame Wheel. Hopefully it doesn't make this other Pokemon faint, because, you know, yeah. Yeah, uh, Flaffy is a very useful Pokemon. So here comes Flame Wheel Attack. And that right there lowers its, uh, its HP a lot more. Here comes a Cotton Spore that will severely lower our speed. And uh, look at that. Yeah, it's lowered our speed. So what's going to happen now is, you know what? I would go with the return, but we're already like, you know, we, we love ourselves. So I'm going to switch out the Pokemon. Let's go with Ombreon right here. And yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole game right here. I'm really having fun. And Ombreon, let's go. Here comes the Reflect. It doesn't work, obviously. And here comes Thundershock. And that hits us. Not effective. Yes, Umbreon is a tank when it comes to defense and all that stuff. So, let's see. I'm not going to go with any helping hand or anything. But I'm going to go with this. So let's go with another Reflect that won't work. And here comes a Bite Attack. And... It should... It should be in... Like, you know, it should... The lever should be going down a little. So here comes a Shadow Rush. And that right there takes Espeon... And yes, a recoil. So let's go right ahead and throw another great ball at this Pokemon right here. And Umbreon, if it doesn't work, let's go with a bite attack. So we're going to be throwing a snag ball. There it is. May the Pokeball go capture this Pokemon right here. And there's one, there's two, there's three. And we're throwing out the peace sign. So we actually caught Flappy. Good! We have defeated Diogo, and we have outperformed her, which is great! Fantastic! Alrighty! So, she's like, you're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little secret about certain Pokemon move. The move Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being effect, uh, affected by their types. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target Pokemon's type. It's so easy it uses. Okay. 
So again, we're gonna go heal up our Pokemon. I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here comes battle number three. Rider Leba wants the battle. She's looking fantastic right here. And well, we did a little something off screen and that is that we we actually put Makuhita back into the storage because well, eventually we're not really gonna need that Pokemon very much. I kind of feel like Noctel and Flaffy would be good additions to the team, but eventually, you know, you guys already know I'm going to be switching, and well, as you can see, Rui is looking at a Shadow Pokemon, and it happens to be Skiploom. That Pokemon is, uh, well, I would say it's not really the best Pokemon out there. If you guys don't have a Grass-type Pokemon or any of those Grass-type capabilities, yes, it's a good Pokemon to actually have, but in this game, there probably are better, other better Pokemon, uh, Grass-type Pokemon in here. Unfortunately, there's only like maybe like what 50 Pokemon you can actually t capture total. I'm just saying. So, here comes a recoil. Here comes a Shadow Rush, and just like the last two Pokemon, we're going to lower their gauges to where we can actually start using some moves. Eventually, when you purify these Pokemon, Shadow Rush will no longer be on its move set. The other thing too. And it's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun fact right here too. Uh, Flaffy's already at level 30. Whatever experience you give it, it's it's gonna be right there eventually when you get it to him. But then after you know you purify it and all that stuff, it will evolve. That's something pretty good right there. So just keep an eye out for that. And here we go with the Shadow Rush. Flaffy kicking some butt on Oddish, and well, we're getting hit with a recoil right here. And let's go with the Shadow Rush. And there we go. Okay, so Skip Loom right here is, uh, <laughs> it's looking like easy target right now. And here comes a Sleep Powder. Will this affect my Pokemon? And yes, it will, because Noctel is now asleep. Look at that. Look at the bubbles. Oh, God. Okay, so I guess I can, I guess I could, I could capture this Pokemon now. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and capture Skip Loom and Flaffy. Let's go right ahead and use a... A shadow rush towards uh, the next Pokemon. So here we go. Great ball. And hopefully this will actually help us capture this Pokemon. Come on. Okay, so that's the first Pokemon that's broken free right there. Here comes a Sleep Powder. That will not work. And here comes a Shadow Rush for the win. And there goes Oddish. And here comes a rep uh, well. Here comes a uh, Recoil. Right about this time right here where we're actually going to get kind of a, you know, kind of a recoil. Not kind of a recoil thing, but a uh, hyper mode and all that stuff. So let's go straight for Shadow Rush. Shadow Rush again, and Shadow Rush all over the place. Skip Bloom hits Flappy, and there comes the recoil. Hopefully, oh wow, okay, so there it is, hyper mode. And here comes Confusion. Of course, Dust Talks being the butthole Pokemon that it is, and yes, we are now confused with, yeah, <laughs> oh my god, okay, Knocked Out, you're just being mean right now, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch out our Pokemon, go to Quillava right here, because it now knows a fire type attack, and we're going to call upon Flaffy, so we can lower some of that gauge right there, and there it is, it's, uh, it's gauge has gone down just a tad bit. And we're going to be bringing back Noctowl right here. So let's go Quilava. Let's get it. Here comes a Shadow Rush. And this will hit us pretty hard right here with Flaffy. And you know what? It's doing its damage to itself. So I should probably let it do that. But that right there is not effective. So let's go with a Flame Wheel on Dust Talks right here. Hopefully that will finish it and a Shadow Rush, and yes, Skip Loom's kicking our butts right now, look at that, Flappy going down in HP, and this should be right, like, we should be trying to capture a Pokemon right now, and here comes a super effective Flame Wheel, and yes, Flappy has gone into another Hyper Mode, here comes the Dust, or the Gust Attack, okay, so we're in uh, Hyper Mode, what we're going to do is we're going to try and capture this Skip Loom yet again. 
And we're gonna call on Flaffy. That way we can actually lower its gauge just a little bit, see what kind of move it actually learns. So here we go. Great ball or snag ball. There we go. And what do we have? Come on. Stay in the ball. Come on, be cool. There we go. We got ourselves Skip Loom. And we're calling on Flaffy. And there goes one of its gauges yet again. And here comes a gust attack. That will probably finish off Flappy. Not really. Okay, so we got a chance right here. Let's go for a flame wheel and switch the Pokemon out right here to. Let's go. You know what? Let's go Ombreon. Let's give Ombreon a little love because, you know, it needs a little love right there. So, grabbing back Flappy. And let's go with Ombreon. Being strategic as always. Here comes the flame wheel attack for the win. And just like that, Dusox has been defeated. I'm feeling good about myself, I really am. Look at that. And, well, that is our next Pokemon Kai. And she's like, uh, oh, boo! I had to lose. Yes, you had to lose. Definitely love the hat. Okay. So that's another Pokemon uh, trainer down, and she's like, oh, that was an incredible battle. I simply love strong guys. That is L-O-V-E, love. If you ever get the urge to battle with me again, I'll always be here for you, honey. Oh, damn. Sexy, you know, sexy bitch, yeah. Okay, so I think we got one more battle. Let's go right ahead and heal up again and uh, take care of business right there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here is the final battle of the episode. But Bandana D Dival or Divil or I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but he's gonna be coming out with both a Quagsire and a Psyduck right here. Quagsire is looking like a pretty uh, interesting Pokemon right there that I, I, I could probably use. Maybe I don't know. So let's come out with our two. Pokemon right here and as you can see Rui is looking at that Quagsire it does have a black aura the unfortunate part about this is that Quagsire is a dual type Pokemon a water and uh, a water and uh, ground type Pokemon so any of my electric uh, type attacks won't affect it it is definitely a good Pokemon to actually have on your team mainly because of those uh, the, those stats right there and uh, it's effect too, I believe it's effect. It does have water absorb, so it can actually, uh, actually, it can, it should actually help when it comes to uh, battling any Pokemon with water type attacks right here. So here comes a Psyduck kicking our butts yet again. And yes, I'm using these battles to actually open up the hearts of my Pokemon because I am a, I'm such a good guy right here. And Flaffy getting his butt kick right here. So let's go with a Shadow Rush. Let's go with a Shadow Rush on this Psyduck right here, and here we go, Shy and Knocked Out, getting one in before it probably goes into Hyper Moan right here. Yes, I'm jinxing it right now, guys, and here comes Shadow Rush, and there we go, hits the Psyduck pretty good right there. That Psyduck is a... That Psyduck looks like it's been eating good, I'm just saying. Here comes its Surf Attack, and, well, that move before it started hitting both Pokemon is a very good move if you want to use any kind of like two for one moves and all that crud and of course we're losing our defenses right now so uh, let's see yeah enough playing around let's go right ahead and switch it out to our two main Pokemon right here because yeah <laughs> kinda don't want to faint my Pokemon right now so let's go straight for damn it Ombreon let's go so we're switching out on both. Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, off screen, I'm gonna try and lower the, the gauges on all the Pokemon that I've kept so far. It is going to be a long process, but hopefully it actually works out for me in the long run, getting all their moves and all that stuff. That is why the battle square right here is here, because, well, you know, it actually does help out with uh, getting all the moves and whatnot, and purifies your poke like it, and it, or it actually opens up your Pokemon's heart for purification later on into this walk to right here. So let's go right ahead and stop messing around. Let's go with Psyduck right here. Let's go with a bite right there. Here we go, confusion attack. Finish it. And just like that, Psyduck defeated. Yes. Psyduck has been defeated. He doesn't like me. Not one bit. And we're getting some experience points. So here comes a bite attack. And this one will lower the HP of the Quagsire. And it has flinch. So that right there is actually going to help out. Let's go with the reflect. And bite attack right here. 
There we go. Strategic. Yes, Draven's being strategic right here. And what is going to happen is the bite attack. And oh, nearly makes this Pokemon faint. And yes, it has flinched. Oh, thank God. Okay. So let's go right ahead and use a Great Ball before we miss out on this Pokemon. And Ombreon, we will not fight. Let's go with a Taunt. So here we go. Snag Ball. That's right. Throwing it away. I love the way how I throw my ball. Like I spin around just to add a little more torque to it. There we go. I wonder how I look like when I bowl. And there it is. We caught ourselves a Quagsire. AKA Lucky. Alrighty, so we have defeated Bandana Guy, Divil Davil Day. I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but yes. And we get some more monies out of this. Yes. Okay. So you're way too you're way tough. We've got a battle again. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Pokemon that we just caught. This guy, Quagsire, both water and ground type Pokemon. It does have the damp ability. Good gravy. So it prevents self-destruction. Now it is a it it is a possibility to get Quagsire with the water absorb technique. I might have to restart this in order to get that Pokemon. Thankfully, I've saved the game. So, yeah, we're going to try and do that. Anywho, guys, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our other two Pokemon right here. It does have Thunder Wave, and this guy has a Keen Eye. Of course, it still hasn't gone down with uh, the, the gauges or anything like that. But we have done everything we could right here, guys. We will pause it right here. In the next episode, we're going to be continuing on our adventure into this town. And hopefully we'll have a Quagsire with a Water Absorb technique or something like that. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back next week for another episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. See you guys.